I'm Rob Bucci and I'm the 4-H plant and animal science educator for Cornell Cooperative Extension of Lewis County. Uh, today I'm here to talk to you about our 4-H in a box kits that are available for youth uh, from kindergarten to 12th grade. Okay, so do you have to be a 4-H member first off to participate in this program? Great question, no. Uh, with this kit you do not have to be a 4-H member, although we encourage anyone interested in 4-H uh, to join. For these kits, you do not have to be. Okay, and um, I know this is a project that you guys have done before, but during the time of the pandemic, uh, kids are at home a lot more, things like that. So what are um, what's the point of the 4-H in a box project and what are some of the things that kids can do? Sure, uh, so yes, uh, with the pandemic, I'm sure everyone's kind of accustomed to the changes with day-to-day -day life. Uh, so we have created these kits, uh, so youth still have the option to have hands-on projects during the day, kind of uh, changing that lull period uh, that they may have because programs are canceled at this time. So again, just allows for uh, youth to have a fun hands-on project that they can do either by themselves or with a family member. Okay, so each month there is a different kit available um, that the children can get to put together. So how do they go about uh, signing up for the kits? What, what's the cost on the kits? Sure, uh, so the cost of the kits varies based off of uh, what type of option you'd like to do. Uh, we do have a shipping option which is sent in the mail. Uh, with this it's $25 per individual kit with an additional $15 if you would like multiple kits sent. Uh, however, there is a pickup option as well that's a bit cheaper, um, and that one is $15 per kit with $8 uh, per additional kit. Okay, and what are how do people access that? Is it right there on the uh, Cornell Cooperative Extension yes. website for Lewis County? Great, great question. I apologize for that. I missed that. Uh, yes, if you are interested in signing up, you just have to visit our. Um, our extension website yeah, at we'll cclewis.org uh, under our 4-H youth section. Okay, and what are some of the um, projects that the kids can look forward to doing? So I know you've already done one for January, uh, the one for February is getting ready to go out, so you do have those both here to uh, show, show what they look like. So what are some of the projects the kids are working on? Yes, so we have a couple of examples here. I know uh, this right here is one of our car kits as well as next to it the windmill, windmill kit. Um, additional kits that we do have coming for the next few months include a, um, a gardening kit as well as a birdhouse making kit and a robotic kit. Okay, and a lot of these, um, most of these projects are gonna call, fall into what you guys call like the, the STEAM program. So can you kind of break down what the STEAM program is and what kind of, what areas that focuses on? Sure, yes. So again, with anything 4-H, we try to enrich our, our community uh, through educational learning. Uh, so with STEAM, uh, this is an acronym for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. So our kits cover all of those uh, and vary month to month. Uh, so from any given month, you might have an engineering project. However, uh, another month down the road, you could even have a tie-dyeing kit. So there's a little bit of something for everyone in these kits. Okay, and uh, I can't remember if we touched on it already or not, but um, you're not required, you, you can sign up each month for the kit, but you don't have to get every single kit, is that correct? Correct, so there's uh, no commitment to these kits. If uh, perhaps you know of someone or one of your children is interested in just the engineering component of this, you can just sign up for say the month of March and if nothing else is of interest, uh, there's no commitment there, so yes. Okay, so at the beginning of the, each month, uh, people will be able to see what the kit is for that month. Month, then you need by the fifth of the month, you need to have your order in if you want the kits, and then the kits usually go out around the 15th of the month? Yes, correct. Um, so uh, on our uh, website, online at cclewis.org, under the 4 H Youth tab, uh, you will find the 4 H in a box section. Uh, from there, you'll be led to a JAT form uh, portion. Uh, which again you can complete online uh, by the fifth of every month. Um, from there we take all the orders, 
send them on out or send an email indicating that it's time to pick them up by the 15th. And uh, again, that's also where you can find new and upcoming programs or kit services that will be provided for the additional months. And how does the team come up with the ideas to um, put the, these kits together and where did it kind of start, start with? Like how did you guys decide you wanted to do this? So coming up with this concept all started at the beginning of the pandemic. Um, again, with everything kind of changing and day-to-day -day life, uh, we still wanted to connect with youth and our community. Uh, so we put together these kits. Uh, with these kits, it's nice because all of the materials required uh, to complete them are included as well as instructions. I know as well on our website, we're gonna be loading a YouTube video and tutorials as well to help guide youth or families that are doing it with their children uh, to complete this task. Okay, and so once again, anyone that's interested in um, checking out the kits or signing up for the kits, they can visit the CC CCE Lewis website, um, which we'll throw up on the screen here, or you could also call and ask for Rob here at the Cornell office, and what's the number here at the office? Yes, and the number is area code 315 Three seven six fifty two seventy. Okay, perfect. Well, thanks for your time today, Rob. And it sounds like a great program. And hopefully, some more of the youth here will take advantage of that. I hope so. Thanks for uh, doing this today, Nick.